Howdy all, this is Guru, welcome to my video. Uh, I'm beginning a campaign uh, in the Darkside mod, a mod um, designed uh, by Brian Menard and built by uh, Zero. Um, it's one of the hardest mods you'll probably see uh, in the game. Um, and so naturally I'm going to start um, because uh, I, I I love I love the difficulty and the survival aspects of this mod, so um, I'm going to jump in and play it for extra difficulty. My cat is lying on my keyboard, so there could be random Molotovs at any time. We just don't know. Um, but for now, let's just start a new community. I'm going to skip the tutorial, and I'm going to go with either Providence Ridge or Drucker because I've played the other two a fair bit recently. Providence Ridge. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be quite tricky, actually. There's a lot of foliage for uh, ferals and the like to hide in. I'm going to play it on dark side difficulty, of course. And I'm going to start with a scratch community. So normally I would just take the first three randoms, which, which, which comes up. Uh, no burns. Thank you. Normally I'd just go full out, but what I'm going to do is take the first available people with no fifth skill, just so I don't get any 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 kind of bonus, which is a pity because this guy actually looks kind of good. But we that's probably a that no, doesn't sound very good. There we go, next guy. So we've got Elvira, Joe, and Tori to start with and I hope they're ready for this it's going to be um, pretty hard if we can find some guns their shooting's actually quite high and Joe looks like with his cardio and his wits he could be a good uh, a good forager out in the field so let's jump in and see how we can get on may not be the community that most people would want but it's the one that I have And we're empty. Again. So, whose turn is it to find more fuel? Alright, so starting with Tori. So, I don't know if how many people... Well, if you're not familiar with the Dark Side mod, um, it's extremely difficult. Um, it's a combination of a whole lot of other place ASAP. A uh, whole lot of other mods, which I couldn't couldn't tell you straight off the bat. Um, but zombies do more damage. Uh, the we blood just plague pick a spot and clear it out. is extremely virulent. Um, vehicles almost always trashed. Um, nice adjustment to the vehicles, which is their That's fuel tanks are much better uh, and much and bigger it out. Um, in, in what they hold. However, the... Oh, I actually needed that. Um, the downside of it is it takes a lot of uh, fuel tanks to fuel tanks to fill, so... This Norma is out of gas. It's so that's going to be one of our missions north. as we start. Can you imagine if the game started at night? That would be pretty scary. Random timings as mm. well. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? Um, mixture of Plague and Standard Freaks. Um, Darkseid tends to start reasonably quietly and lulls you into oh that's that's not so bad kind of um, kind of feeling and then it ramps up quite quickly um, and it doesn't do. stop doing that really um, I see a bloater over there. here we go feral already no gun far out and he's in there so we can see a screamer, we can see feral and a number of plague Z's. This is nasty. The screamer will summon plague, uh, 
bloaters as well. And should they explode, they will spawn hordes, which then run in. So this could get really nasty really badly, and I don't really have a heck of a lot of equipment to really help. Um, you know, I might go in with a with the pipe bomb. You have to be careful around freaks like that one. We gotta find a new place ASAP. We gotta Jeez. find a new place ASAP. I think now I've just downloaded the latest mod. Um, we always started with a gun before. Now we don't, and we even did start with weapons. So, <laughs> oh, it just gets better and better. Uh, How to do this? Really got to take out that screamer. I'm going straight for him. This could go really badly, folks. I'm here and ready to go. Fire in the hole! Not good enough. I take care of it for good. I thought I got him. I'm sure I got him. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, I've been played. <laughs> oh my word. What the hell? Where's this guy? Where the, f where the fuck am I? Oh, I've been totally defeated. Holy shit. Okay, this was this was even worse than I thought. Far out. I was I was sure I killed that fucking screamer. Were there two of them? I don't know. I'll have to. I don't Just know what happened. Me. Things aren't great. Uh, at least someone survived. Then there were two. At least we got our backpacks right. I always wondered what this thing was for. It's for when you die up there and you have to respawn. Got it. Okay, dude, what's your status? Hmm. Okay, this... I'm gonna have to try something else. I mean, honestly, if I'd found a fuel backpack, I would have broken that up to use it as fire. Uh, but we've got meds and materials, and I'm pretty sure materials won't give me what I'm after to to um, clean up my base. Wow, we! Wow, that really does change things up. Smells like shit in here. Ooh, something must have seen me coming. Okay, sounds like we got a badass over here. Hearing something I can't. Well, we have to find a gun or something like that. So, far out. This is this is possibly a wipeout situation we're looking at here. Um, that's never happened to me, so I don't want that. It's a point in principle now. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. Tempted just to ditch my rucksacks for now. They're actually useless to me. Holy shit. Holy shit. <sighs> I might actually pay, put this in the review series. I was actually just going to start a my own little kind of walkthrough to share with friends and stuff. But this is hilarious. At least a start. Ah, uh, the pipe bomb. I did a pretty shit job with that last time. No weapons. I didn't really realise that. It's too busy talking. Well, like I say, at least it's pretty quiet around these buildings. 
because if it weren't, Parang, that's a pretty good weapon. A little bit flimsy, but um, hey, it's got a high it. lethality. So it should be pretty good for chopping through the Z's. Man, that screamer just nailed me. Oh, sh so sure, so sure. I'd already taken it out. I don't know how that happened. I'm stunned. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, we can't walk away from ammo. So this guy's going to have to carry some. Need a gun. And there is... Another container somewhere. Outside. This is a fuel ruck. I'm breaking it open and I'm using the mollies. Nothing left to find here. Shit. <sighs> Chances of finding a gun in this lunchbox. Almost empty on that. We'll do a sweep through this area if we survive. Right. There he is. Okay. Settle down now. Here's where we need to use our wits. Our own wits. Ammo store looted. Great. Um, there are some other areas around here where we might get lucky and find a gun. Or something to fuel a vehicle. That might work. I'm willing to trash a vehicle in which case... Uh, in order to clear the base. I mean, if we can't sleep, we're in... We're in trouble. Um, might get lucky. I'm praying for rednecks here. We didn't quite have time to move their AK-47 out of the back of this. Well... Carry my ammo. And I will give him the pipe wrench. Actually. I think I'll take the pipe wrench. I'm just a bit more familiar with the old... Uh, there doesn't really seem to be much in here. No, there does not. Familiar with blunt weapons rather than blade. Could drop these rucksacks back in that um, back oh, in man. the car. That place looks like a gold mine. Which place? Tartan Mart Clinic. Well, we do need meds. Yeah, we'll pop in here. Some health supplies. You know, painkillers and the like. Looks like we're in the clear. Yep. Yeah, seven containers. It's quite a bit. Look at that, man. Is that for me? I've not been in this situation before where I could not get in to the home base. 
feral. And a Lazarus Screamer. What the hell is that? Salvage. Right. Not yet at the stage of cracking those open. That is a Z. That could help us. That could help a lot. And we probably need to get into this base before we do anything else. Nothing left to find here. Yeah. That's good enough. That's what we're going to try and do. Before it gets dark. Four critters start coming out of the woodwork. Still got to keep my eyes peeled even though it's quiet. Yeah. We'll be coming back. Mark my words. It's not over, Dark Side. Let two of us get away. Chance of fuel, flame bombs, that thing, the the boom box, pipe bombs. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, cool. Great. Tell you what. We will check the gas station. Pretty good chance of finding some f some fire there. Like, if I fully appreciated how w what I was starting with, I might have come straight here. It's a bit crazy to try and go in there with just a pipe on. Right. Okay. Cool, and we will be back. Build up some cardio. No room for that. Ah, thought I was carrying parts and that would stack on top. Really gotta be sharper. I'm so damn tired. Not a big fan of pickups. I mean, I'll take them over nothing, don't get me wrong.
No room for that. Drive back down to get that stuff or on foot. You know, I could do without any extra attention right now, so we'll do it the slow way. Last thing I want to do is take the truck down there. I need to invite friends along. Summon a whole freaking horde. That would suck big time. I'm already full up. Having said that. Right. We're going in. Sounds like we're alone. Just check here in case, I don't know, there might be painkillers or something. A backpack. I will take that for sure. It's a little bit more help. Ha! Huh. No, it takes that long to start up. Squeaking and hollering. Yo, Pharaoh on the loose here. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Seriously. It's gonna be the shits. <clears throat> if we clear this area, it'd make for some prime real estate. First priority has to be gathering Here we materials. Go. We're in. We'll need them to improve this place. Hey, there's a big section of the map that we haven't checked out yet. Scout it a bit. Whatever that noise is, that's horrible. I can't stay. I can't stay with that going on. Hopefully it'll... We gotta be able to fix our broken weapons. I say we build a workshop. That's reasonable. A reasonable suggestion.
Cool. Already got an infirmary. Uh, right, we need more materials and we know where they are. down in this place so we will oh there's more blockers to search oh thank god it's probably just the probably just the game saying I'm coming to get you wow oh, this has been a rough start we can rebuild We've got a reasonable amount of fuel. Man, that was such a, such a heinous start. Sure, there's stuff in the house. Really, probably don't need to carry this energy drink around no more. Military outpost to you. Good run past it. I didn't really check I found it that a couple well. of things while I was out scavenging. <laughs> He's out scavenging already. Anything? Anything? Yes. Duffel bag. Your bonus. Nothing but good times. I've never used that. But that's cool. Someone needs to be a medic. Might as well be that's you, mate. Come in handy. And then you don't have to carry it. Good enough. Down, down. <gasps> hey, we didn't even have plague it's the safer anyway. We certainly left zombies when we got back there. I don't know what happened to that horde. Possibly chased my uh, 
my other dude halfway across the map and then, I don't know, maybe despawned or something. Either way, losing a survivor for your first base is pretty expensive. I will need all of this. Shit is heavy. He's not just talking about what he's got on his back. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not really looking forward to uh, moving around this place at night. As the population starts Sounds to like increase. We're of foliage for things to hide in. Speed. At least we shouldn't consume too much, but you know. Okay. It's alright. So basically, I've got to be pretty careful that I don't well, lose someone else, but even don't get too damaged or too injured while I start to get into the game because the delay would be pretty costly. And if one of my survivors gets too injured that I have to overly rely on the other then he gets tired, compounds. Now I might just hold on to those firecrackers. Mm. Alright, next time. If I ever start another playthrough, I'm going to be a bit more prepared for what I don't have. terms of weapons. Like no weapons. Cheapest. You know, this isn't the greatest, ve greatest vehicle in the world, but it is the only one I have. This looks like a waste of time. I remember I left some seats behind. more seeds. Like that. I don't think I'll be building farms anytime soon. Now apparently these gun salvage parts can actually be used as crafting materials. Should I ever get a military outpost? Which I have in my other playthrough, but I haven't I haven't actually done anything with it yet. Like, um, so yeah, that'll that'll be interesting. Um, I got a good chance of uh, materials in there. Honestly, these two backpacks that we found f for my followers, that'll make a huge difference. That'll, it's basically on foot 
near doubling my capacity and efficiency in, in scavenging. So that is a bonus. Nothing's going to bring back what's her name. Ooh. I'm going to jinx everything and say I'm surprised I haven't come across any locked doors. Chemistry. Now that is a good All skill. Quiet. Which my other follower can take. Can't think of anything else I'd to do with it. Save it up. Two chemistries. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Got Molly. This is actually going okay. Yeah, it's time to look elsewhere. That's pretty good. I'll come back for these chems in the store next door. Pretty good. Pretty good. Just remember, of course. Wow, full. Really? Full truck. Now, I think I've got realistic vehicle storage on. Um, that's another mod I'm running. Uh, I think I've installed it in the right order. I'm not too sure. I'll find out when I uh, find another vehicle, I guess. Until then, I'll just keep playing. I forgot to see when I started this video, so I don't know how long I've been going. Um, I've been going that long, so we'll go on a bit further yet. Now this is all great. But you know, eventually I'm going to have to go further afield. I'm going to have to find some... Uh, Sounds like we're alone. Some additional survivors to build, to um, recruit to my... Um, my community. So that we can actually move bases cornered up here for the whole gig. All done here. This is pretty much the easy stuff that I'm getting now. Fishing your feet it's called. Alright, no. let's get back to base. We're at capacity. the other cute little features that the dark side mod has is fuel usage is um, attributed to how you drive so if you're screaming all over the map at high speed you will use more fuel than you would otherwise which is pretty cool I like that it's a, that's a nice addition especially as I like to drive slower than most because I am terrified of driving over bloaters. Especially plague bloaters. Ah, oh, I forgot I've got the thing on my back. Chuck it in here. Yo, got a bunch of supplies for us here. So let's check our community. You know what I should have done? I should have chucked old. What's his, what's his name? into the infirmary. Oh, what's wrong way around? Eh. Nah, it's okay. Ah, I feel like shit. Oh. Better get fixed up. It's not great. And I used the only fuel we had for the mollies. And then didn't need them. But hell, I felt like I needed them. Bring that, that.
What? Where'd that come from? Who had that? Where did that come from? Now, I've noticed in the past sometimes if your survivors die in the base, you automatically get their gear. And I think that's what's happened here. But first things first, let's... That's going to come in handy. Chemistry up. Let's build that workshop. I'm glad we've already got to start on building this base up into something real. Ooh. Still no garden. Hey, neighbors. Can you spare anyone to help us out? Yo, I'm coming to you. I appreciate that. Huh. Yeah, fair enough. We can do that. What we'll do is we'll... Uh, Check out the weather red house. This will turn up and out a uh, play cart. Now play carts are pretty tough. Now way tougher in dark side than they are in nightmare. All right, the world's starting to wake up. We can't afford to lose anyone, so we're going with uh, pretty much full strength. We're also going to trade these when we get down there. Uh, which are parts salvageable from weapons, if fuel is available. We don't have fuel, but we could get fuel. It's still building. But that, that's actually a mod which wouldn't be too hand, which wouldn't be too bad to have. Let's give that another go. Ooh. See ya, buddy. Gotcha. I usually don't have much luck running over ferals, but that's two from two. Yeah, bloater. We aren't alone, I say. Not what I need to do. Holy shit. Here they come. Shit, screamer. Hey guys, feel like fighting? Now that I'm not dying, I guess I better find something to do. I gotta catch my breath. How's it going? The safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. Hmm. Well. There's a plague heart nearby. That whole area should be crawling with infected zombies. Or you could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. Yeah. This won't be easy, so you should bring the best equipment you have on hand. Uh, didn't I just... Helping out like this is a good way to make friends. Grab some stuff. Oh, put it in the car. Uh... Later. You looking to trade? Sounds like a plan. Mm, that's pretty decent. Right, what do you guys got? 
They've got proper guns and a suppressor. How much? 50. Yeah, totes. We need one of those. And oh, what ammo have I got back there? 254 and AR 15. From memory, we've got got quite a few. We got 20 or something of those. I think that's the most we've, ammo that we've got for something. No scope on it. Is that a 556 as well? Yeah, but bolt action. I mean, it'll never break. And it's hey, it's pretty quiet. It's quite heavy though. Same heavy as dura yeah, max durability fire rate. Hmm. What do I do here? I mean, I'm going to keep that. I'm not selling that. Model. Exterminator, sir. They are very good. They break pretty easy. That's another step in the right direction. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. There we go. You know what? Oof, that's a lot. No, I won't. I won't buy the ammo. But I do now have a suppressed. So where's this play card? Down there. That's pretty, pretty nasty. Executor using up quite a bit of spam every time. Eh? Which means if, I, if I'm in combat, it's actually gonna. Locked up tight. Mm, do we do it? Seem to mind. Can't hear anything. Right, we're going in. More of the same. Yeah, I don't mind that. I'm going to try this billboard and see if that lets me get some further visibility up the uh, ooh, fuel tank. You never know. Looks like it could. Ah, oh man, it's a screamer. Where? Say hello to my little friend, which I just bought. 
Yeah, uh, I... I'm usually not afraid to spin influence when times are tough. And two survivors. Not the worst start I've had. I mean... Kind of head worse. There's a screamer. Seems like nothing more to see here. Loader ahead. Watch it. Okay. So if we check our map now. Come up here to this trailer park. You can sometimes find some pretty random stuff up there. Or in caravans generally. Chemicals, snacks, kind of general purpose stuff. You'll be lucky if you find anything decent like a gun or something, but you never know your luck. Beggars can't be choosers at this stage. Now I have one piece of advice to a new a new player. Um, especially someone who's trying one of the higher harder difficulty levels moving up from you know standard to nightmare or something like that is when it's night time don't be in a rush um, speed kills it's easy to move into an area where it's very difficult to get out of um, it's very easy to miss freaks uh, and dangers which can quickly turn the situation on your head so when you're at night use your stealth use creeping um, be extra aware of your surroundings use them because um, basically daylight is awesome because you can you can see you can um, well you can see you got better better lines of sight for th for freaks such as ferals and the like you know you can get a better line of sight you can avoid walking into their ambushes um, so, really, night's going to last for as long as it lasts, and so while it's doing that, you might as well make smaller, secure gains at lower risk. And then, you know, maybe a bit bolder in, in daylight. That tends to be my approach anyway. Screamer, better keep my distance. I can hear him even. the shed here. So, perfect example. You don't know what way he's facing. Should really come from the other side. Where I'm looking down rather than up. That's okay. Oh, yep. Not a plague screener. Should be able to sneak up on them. Uh, the visibility and hearing of zombies is increased in this mod, I'm pretty sure. And seeing screamers especially. And bloaters are pretty onto it as well. But screamers? Um, you know, they were pretty easy to sneak sneak up on and around, uh, even in nightmare Zombies. mode. In dark side, they can spot you quite a long way away. Who's that? 
That was a surprise. Expecting that. Oh, we've got plenty of fuel for our truck. Bandages I don't often take out into the field. I just use them at home to, um, to you know, take care of uh, injuries when I get back. I don't like my guys to come in and sit there on three-quarter health just in case there's a siege or something like that. Nothing for nobody in here. I'm already full, but we'll just see what's in here. Might be worth coming back for. Soda can bomb. I don't really use those against zombies. And play carts are so goddamn tough, it's hardly worth the slot. And would I have that or a bandage? That's what's in my head. That or a bandage. Probably just won't use the soda can bomb. And we can hear something. Got some more stuff to drop back in the car. My guy, my dude, looks like he's been hit by a bloater or something. <laughs> Did I miss something? I could go back up there for the bomb, then across and back down. Yeah, why not? Just to a sweep. Now, why I've got these mollies is uh, I don't really want to use them. Um, I'm not looking for trouble. I've got a pretty decent gun against the feral, but if I come up against several of them, I might need to uh, throw down a molly to cover cover a retreat, that sort of thing. Don't want them uh, spooking me at night. Oh, cool. Looks like I am getting that soda, <laughs> soda can bomb. I suppose they do make noise. Explosive noise makers. Could use them against hostiles. Alright, we could get some fuel possibly from that, from that place.
my seat. Yeah, this is looking promising. It's definitely got a bit of fuel here. Hey, look, I didn't get away. You didn't get away, there's gotta be fuel. Ah, snap, yeah! trees. I will tolerate him. <coughs> oh. See, might get lucky and get a plague sample out of this guy. First kill sample, that would be uh, unheard of. See, even here, oh, the extreme range of that zombie. out and clear out that shed. Right, it's easy to hang around the defilator rocks and the ones which run out jump you later because you forget that they're there. You don't see them. He doesn't want to influence anyway. Small victories. I can't believe I ran over those two ferals before. I almost never seem to be able to take ferals out with vehicles. I just end up trashing them. Unless, you know, you've got a you know, customised rotted one. Not just an old Norma clunking down the road. I'm pretty lucky with that. Stupid girls. Oh! Uh, this, is, this is looking pretty good, folks. Three slots left, but I'm going to push into the house to see if I can safe. Oh, ten containers. There but should be something good in here. My up tight. exact words. We ain't busting open shit. Edge of the haze. So much to search in here. I've saved it. Oh, sweet. It's weird. I'm pretty sure I didn't go in every room. Got another molly. Perfect. Alright, let's see what we can get. Pretty loaded up. Back this way anyway. Circuits. Another molly. 
That's my stack size. Yeah, all good. Ethanol. What are we up there? Computing. Yeah, that's pretty rad. Okay, we're gonna make sure we can get back in here through the front. We are out of here with our ill gotten gains. I'm not cutting cr across through that at night. I was back to my principle around, you know, moving around at night. Go slow, go safe. Even this is pretty, pretty casual. Just running. It's because it's a bit quiet. You see, that's why I killed that one earlier, because I'd forgotten about it. Always ensure your exits are clear. And hey, we're nearly full up here. I got on me. What's going on? <laughs> I'm hoping to make a trade. Interested? Five. Cool. It's pretty lame. Better than nothing, though. Right. This night's going on. It's got to be, uh. It's got to be coming up to daylight soon. There is a precursor to daylight when the birds start chirping. Got about a five minute warning before it starts getting light. Which is just handy to know. It's heavy. That's one thing I forgot to do. Let's chuck that in. Because it says, well, once it's up and loaded, they need fuel, not necessarily power. So there's usually at least one stage in the game where you've just got so many melee weapons and stuff, you just need to, you know, get rid of that crap and powering that thing up with some fuel and then doing it sounds a pretty efficient way of doing it chems far out i am full again this is an awesome problem to have but say why don't i bring the car up now the car's nearly full as well to be honest this stuff isn't going anywhere and the stuff i've got back is pretty awesome Feels like it's getting lighter. I could be wrong. We are full up. So, like that, let's chuck that in. Yeah, we might as well sell that while we're down here. I mean, I could wait until later. 
get yeah. allied or what? Okay. 75 is pretty good. See? 500. What else have they got? Rucksack loot. Two non material rucksacks. 275. So that could be like ammo. Or that could be. Yeah, that could be anything really. I'm hoping to make a trade. Interested? Okay. And that is materials. I always need materials. Could get a rain collector with that, then I got water. And then with water comes building. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna buy that. Cheers, Jeeves. Well, 300, measly 300 what uh, influence. Get some more bullets while I can. A bit extravagant. Yeah, I know. I think that's a feral. It was, it was a feral. You straight line me, so pop. Luckily just the one, eh? That in that case, we don't need three of those in there. Parts, materials. I already have material. Wow, I always need more materials. You know Fuel for that. More fuel. And chems, materials, computers. It's important for grenades and that. Chuck the mollies in there as well. Hi, nice. I'm back. How's everybody doing? Oh, I'm pretty stoked about that. As far as starts go, that was pretty hairy. Um, I do like watchtowers, but give us a small morale bonus. I mean, we need water. At least we find, at least we build the watchtower. Hmm, build a watchtower, and I mean, we're not. I'm not expecting we're going to get sieged. Morale bonus is pretty. M Minuscule. I mean, that's all my materials. The other things could break down, which is a bit annoying. Garden. Food. No. No, no. None of this. Oh, still. Now, that gives me water. Craft fuel. Provide base wide water. Now that is worth thinking about. What else can you do with a still? I think you can build other things. Um, what do I could do with my other one? I could build fuel, make ethanol. Um, yeah. What to do with that? Good question. I might think on that, because um, I think with the sun coming up, that that's a good place to leave this episode. I have to think about what I'm going to build for uh, my next episode. Um, and uh, minus one fuel per day. Ah, I see, it's, uh, it's already salvaging. That's interesting. I haven't used it before, so this is, uh, this is a good start. And we've got nothing. So, what I'm going to do, I don't want to use that right now. So we'll take that out. Put on our shells. Ooh, custom storage. And, and yeah, leave it there. Uh, I think we've done okay. 
think we've done okay, um, considering the calamitous um, start to this game. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video, hit likes. If you want to subscribe, by all means, subscribe. Um, I don't do this for a living or anything uh, like that. I just do it for fun because I, I love this game and love sharing it. So, um, yeah, if you want to watch some more, leave me some comments. You want to laugh at my misfortune, leave me some comments, whatever. I just uh, love this game. And so if you've got anything, anything to say about um, the game or this video or um, anything on topic, by all means, leave it behind. Cool. Hey, thanks, everyone. And uh, I'll catch you later for um, episode two. Bye for now.